Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkelzonki. So in this video, I'm going to have a guide for you guys. And the guide is going to be how to kill cave horrors. So first of all, um, this is a money-making guide. At the moment, black masks are selling for about 1.5 mil each. So first of all, to kill cave horrors, you need to have completed the Cabin Fever quest. Uh, and that quest has some fairly low requirements like 50 agility and stuff like that but as you can see from the grand exchange uh, the black mask is currently 1.6 mil and rising and the reason for this is because hardly anyone kills cave horrors but people still need black masks because people still do slayer and people still occasionally lose their black masks or sell them to buy other stuff um, so people still need the black mask but hardly anyone kills cave horrors so I'm going to go over the gear and inventory. Uh, you need a Witchwood icon. This is a must. Uh, you have to have this to kill the cave horrors. Um, I'm wearing War Priest of Zamorak, but you can wear any mage gear you'd like. I'm just wearing this because it's non-degradable and it's pretty good. I have Rage Fire Boots as well. I'd recommend to bring a Ring of Wealth. Um, they have such low hit points that a stat boosting ring is not going to help very much. And I would recommend a Ring of Wealth just to get Black Mask a little more commonly. I have a Chaotic Staff. If you don't have that, you can always bring a Staff of Light. Um, or you could always bring Virtus Wanted Book if you have those and you don't have a Chaotic Staff. But I would recommend this. Um, chaotic Staff is actually the best to use on these monsters. Even better than Virtus Wanted Book because it has a higher first hit damage. Which I'll, I might go over a little bit later. And obviously if you don't have a Max Cape, just wear a Skill Cape. And in your inventory... Um, I have a bone crusher because they do drop big bones. Uh, you need a light source, um, a teleport out. I'm bringing air runes because they are weak to air spells. A charming imp to collect charms. A gem bag because with your ring of wealth you're going to be getting a lot of gem drops. I have a bunya pa pouch which will pretty much provide all the healing that you need because they don't hit very hard. And a super restore potion just in case. So what you want to do is get yourself to any charter ship and charter yourself to Moss the Harmless. You can't do this until you complete the Cabin Fever quest, so that's why that quest is required. And as soon as you get there, just cross the Gangplank, and we're going to run to the dungeon. And I'll show you the full run there, just in case you guys don't get lost or anything, but Moss the Harmless is in a very big place, so I'm sure you can handle it. But anyway, um, before the evolution of combat, you could average about one black mask an hour. Um, I tried them before the evolution of combat, and I tried them today for about half an hour. Uh, and even though I didn't get any black mask drops, I can safely say you kill them over twice as fast as you did before the evolution of combat, where I did fully test them out. So this means you're going to be getting at least two black masks an hour on average, possibly more, which means over three mil an hour on average. Um, they also drop quite a bit of crimson charms, which is really nice, and they drop quite a bit of herb seeds as well. So you might make a couple hundred k from like lantadime seeds, dwarf weed seeds, and some higher level herbs, stuff like that. Also some nice charms. But anyway, you just want to run down to this kind of beachy area. If you've ever been to Trouble Brewing, if you're one of the five remaining RuneScape players active that has played Trouble Brewing, uh, then you know this area with all the giant mosquitoes. I didn't notice those the first time you came in. I came here. But anyway, it is a dark cave, so you are going to need a light source. And there is a spot that you can kill them. Of course, since you kill them in like two hits with a chaotic staff, uh, you want to go to an area where there are quite a few of them. Obviously, even though they are aggressive, you can't really AFK these just because you kill them too fast. But this spot right here is the one that I found was the best. But anyway, there's quite a few cave horror spawns around here, and you can just kill them quite fast. They legitimately die in two hits almost every time. Um, the only rule drops you want to watch out for other than black mass are higher level herbs and herb seeds. And other than that, they don't drop anything good at all. But those black mass, 1.6 mil each and rising. So it's very possible that, you know, in a couple weeks from now, they might be worth up to 2 mil each because just no one is ever here. But people still need their black masks. So anyway, I killed that guy in one shot there. So the reason you want to bring a staff here um, over a wand and book is because when you first click on the monster, your any monster, your character automatically does an auto attack ability. And then after that, uh, you use whatever ability you normally use. So I hit 1.8k there with my auto attack, and then my ability kicked in. 
and staffs have a higher first hit damage than a wand and book do, so they are actually better to use than a wand and book against monsters with low health. I just kind of wanted to mention that because there's this ongoing battle on which is better, Virtus wand and book or chaotic staff, and some people seem to think that Virtus wand and book are better in every situation. I just want to kind of clear that up um, the best that I could. But anyway, thanks for watching this guide, and uh, hopefully it's helpful to some of you who don't have the stats to kill some of those really high level bosses like QBD um, stuff like that if you don't have the stats for bosses like that I would recommend you just come here and you can still make about three million an hour providing that you uh, you will have to pay full attention and be you know clicking fast and spamming your abilities and all but as long as you're okay with that you can make some really good money so anyway good luck on your black mask hunt and I wish you farewell